I'm answering, but you don't you don't want to hear my answer. Actually, you're not being truthful. That's I'm my not problem being truthful. Have you been into that house? I have no interest in being in that house. I'm not a crack user. So <laughs> you know. Many in Toronto would say the nickname is unfair, but Cracktown lived up to its billing as its mayor, Rob Ford, made confession after confession as he faced an inquisition from city councillors. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. Thank you. And on it went, a veritable public intervention that put Mayor Ford on the spot and on the couch, this one from one of his allies. Mr. Mayor, do you recognize there are a few of us that really do want to help you? Councillor, it was not the reason I drank or did drugs was not because of stress. It was out of sheer stupidity. Okay. That's all it was. So I'm not going to blame something. I'm not going to use a, an excuse or a cop-out. I take full responsibility for my mistakes. I, I don't know what else I can say. Okay. Councillors wanted to hear, I resign. But on it went for several more uncomfortable hours. There's nothing else to say, guys. I, I really uh, effed up. And that's it. It didn't matter what he said. Fellow councillors voted overwhelmingly for the mayor to take a lead. But the truth is, the vote didn't matter either. No one can legally force the mayor to quit. In an exclusive interview with CNN, Doug Ford, the mayor's big brother, says no way. The mayor is staying put, calling fellow councillors a bunch of hypocrites. Everyone has faced it. And they're willing to forgive. They aren't willing to forgive Rob Ford. They would if he stepped down. Well, why, why should he step down again? Let the people decide. Outside, a few thousand protesters made it clear they have decided the mayor can't stay on the job. Do you have any power to stop it? How are we going to stop it? Rob Any way we can, by any legal means necessary. And we're going to keep the pressure up until he's gone. This isn't the end, this is the beginning. And that's been the point here all along. People saying that, look, this isn't the end, this is the beginning of a protest movement. The mayor's response, bring it on. They said, be very careful on what you write. Even as new allegations swirled about drug abuse, he says nothing will tear him away from his job. Paula, all this new information you mentioned earlier, and again, it's important to note, none of it has been proven in court. So what's the status of the police investigation? Is the mayor himself cooperating with law enforcement? Well, it was quite a bombshell, something that was a bit missed with all the sordid details today that Rob Ford admitted in Council Chambers, Wolf, that he is not cooperating with this police investigation. I spoke to his lawyer, Dennis Morris, afterwards. He says that is his advice to the mayor, and he takes it. The problem here, though, Wolf, is to remember this is a man that is in charge of the police department. He's not cooperating with the very department that he oversees, and many people are wondering how long this can go on. Mayor Ford says, look, I'm not an addict. I am staying on this job. I am a good mayor, and no one can prove otherwise. Wolf?